judge, gentlemen of the jury, people of the Philippines, judge me. Am I guilty or not guilty? But before you sentence me to death, let me tell you my story. There was a young girl, 17 years of age, with a curvaceous body of 36, 24, 26, with long hair and sizzling eyes. Being rich as she was, she studied at a private university. Oh my gosh, I met this guy. Keith was a basket, he was the best basketball player at our team. And Keith was also the heart of our school. Oh my gosh, his name? Guess what? Who? It was Robbie Satillion. Isn't it sweet? <clears throat> oh my gosh, we became friends. We became friends. And later, more than that. After one year of our relationship, we decided to settle down to marry. That cut ties with our families. Since his parents disagreed, he was no longer supported with his studies. So I decided to give up my studies and work as a sales lady in a supermarket. One day, he came home. He was asking me for money, but I couldn't give him any, for I just gave him last night. So he walked out the door. The next morning, he came home. He was as cold as ever, and he was as hard as stone. When his graduation came, I was so happy. I expected Robbie to invite me, but he didn't say a word. I didn't mind. I still attended. When his name was called with a degree in medicine and a summa cum laude, Robbie is Italian. I shouted with glee. It all ended another when there's another girl that stood up and gave that metal tip. I was devastated. I'm supposed to give that metal tip and pin that ribbon for half his wife. I'm his wife. I'm his wife, right? He came home that night and I confronted him. Who's that girl, Robbie? Who's that girl? It's none of your business. But I'm your wife, Robbie. I'm your wife. You're just my wife. How could you do that to me, Robbie? I gave you everything. I gave up my studies for you. And it worked. I'm the sales lady. And this is how you pay me back. I have to leave. I decided to grab my gun. You can't do this, Robbie. You can't leave me. You just can't leave me, Robbie. I love you, you just can't leave me. You can't just do this to me, honey. Be calm. And he decided to leave. And I did the worst in my whole painstaking life. Mr. Robbie Sotelian with a degree in medicine and a summa cum laude. You'll pay for my labors and sacrifices. Bang! Bang!